Yo, what is up, gang, man? It's your guy, Jeezy. For those who don't know, welcome back to the channel, man. For those who will be returning, man, appreciate every last one of y'all. Hopefully, y'all been having a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, chilling, staying fed, staying woke, man. For sure, man, watch over in your back. I ain't finna get too much into it, man. All I'm gonna say is, man, I thank y'all. I ain't never gonna upload no video without telling y'all thank y'all. Anyways, I don't upload no video I've already seen. If I have already seen it, I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna give y'all a disclosure that I already seen it, bro. But this one, I ain't never seen it. Like I said, man, hopefully y'all been safe and sound. Appreciate y'all. If y'all haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. Like, comment. I'm open to any comments. Of course, keep it ready. G. Yeah, man, hopefully y'all been safe and sound, bro. Like, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all give me the green light. I'm going to keep on going. Thank y'all, man. For those of y'all who've been, you know, staying to the end, halfway, whichever, man, don't matter. Appreciate you. you been clicking on my video overall. Let's go ahead and get into it. You feel me? We're currently second in the nation in pill related deaths so what we're trying to do now is target these pain management clinics and see if we can um put a stop to the mm -hmm. selling and distribution of pills yeah. okay guys we are set up to do the deal on the south west side of the parking lot once the deal goes down they're gonna give a bus signal Hold on. Was the black guy pushing the cart? Hold on. Let me see something. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Hold up. Let me see. That's him right there. <laughs> Yo, look, bro. Man, shit's crazy. Look at that. Yep. That was him. Sure, down, 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 down. How do you put on the vest so quick? That's the thing. Get on the ground. She, bro. she look man the thing about your dealing man you want to make sure for sure whoever it is you serving is not a police officer or an undercover police officer because i mean you could do some serious time bro for distributing drugs i know that sounds cheesy but for selling drugs and shit like whether it be weed crack cocaine i think that's like the same thing and heroin pills you know what i mean you know you you know what i'm saying right when you get caught with that shit and they charge you for distribution and you're convicted, like you're proven guilty in court, but you can do some serious time, bro. Real shit, man. So that's why, man, if you're doing it, just only need someone you can be able to put food on the table. I totally respect that. But watch yourself. Watch your step, man. Be careful who you're serving. Just check them, bro. Because if you're convicted, <laughs> if you're convicted, my bad for my stuttering, bro. But if you're convicted, bro, you ain't going to be coming home for a long ass time. I don't give a fuck if you haven't even been, if you haven't even been pulled over on the road. I don't give a fuck if you haven't been just even pulled over in general at all, but you can have the cleanest fucking record. You get caught with some drugs, bro, and they anticipate that you were selling it and they charge you and you are guilty, like you proven guilty and were convicted, bro. You ain't coming on for a long time, bro, so you better be careful. For those of y'all who are doing this shit. But by, by all means, y'all do what y'all want. You feel like straight. On three, one, two, three. Not like this. Relax. There you go. Just like this. You're all right. All right. Exit on the curb. That wasn't even. Was that him? Herbert, you got anything on you know about? No, not nothing. Have a seat. Listen, I'm a detective with the sheriff's office, okay? Okay, yeah, it's both of right. I'm going to ask you some questions, all right? What's the deal? What's going on today? Oh, he just told me to come over here. And... He just told you to come over here? You had no idea why you were coming over here? He done, bro. Did really... he explain to you about handing somebody the pills or something? or? Then why'd you get in the car and instantly hand me the pills? I don't know. You don't know? Adam, how many did we deliver? What are gloves at, bro? They're supposed to be handling these shits with gloves and shit, and they putting their fingerprints all over it. I mean, that's just me, because I, I, I'm always used to seeing police officers put on gloves and shit before they start handling evidence. Oh, uh, it's supposed to be 120. I haven't counted them. Though. Supposed to be 120? Yeah. When, uh, when he got in the car, I asked him, I said, are you the person that's supposed to be selling me the pills? And he yeah. said, yeah. 
He then removed this pill bottle from his pocket, and I asked him, I said, are they all there? He said, yeah, all 120 of them are there. Okay. He then gave me the, the pills and said, yeah, I'm straight, they're good, they're all there. So this, he was unknown to you prior he was, he to was, this was, deal? Yes, he was unknown to me. It was supposed to be the other individual. It was supposed to be the one to, um, that was dry, that was uh, going to deliver the pills to me. Yeah. This guy just came out of nowhere, got in. He was with the guy, but I'd never met him, never talked to him. It was never discussed during the deal. But you had, made, else. you had made the negotiations with the other one? We made the negotiations with the other individual. So we got two for the price of one? Yes, sir. All right, good job. Listen to me, okay? I'm the one that you sold pills to last time, okay? I don't know you. Okay. Well, I do. I know you, okay? And I need to know if you want to be cooperative, okay? Because each charge is a minimum mandatory sentence of three years in prison, okay? So that's a total of six years in prison that you're looking at right now, okay? The only way to get out of that is to talk. But it depends on how you guys want to handle this. It depends on how I handle it. You want to talk? Hey, Jeff. There you go. I trust the police, bro. The only reason why he's being nice to him, well, I mean, it's, it's a job, you feel me? But then at the same time, bro, police officers be snaking people over deals upon how much time they're going to be serving or how much time they're facing. There's, they, be fa or they be snaking people, bro, when it comes to them deals. Um, and... Dude did the right thing. The guy that was sitting on the curb with his glasses, he did the right thing, man, without making any statements, without saying anything. Because you can't really trust the police, bro, because they don't give a fuck about you. Most of them don't. Some do, all right? Some of them really got that heart. Some of them do have sympathy for people and are really out here to protect people, bro. But the majority of them, bro, really don't give a fuck about you. If they see the opportunity to take your ass to jail... Even then, if it, if it's for a, a, a valid reason, you get what I'm saying? If it's for a valid reason, right? Let's say, like, you went to the store, your baby mama or yourself went to the store. You didn't have no money, but the baby needed a simulac. You went in there to stole or steal a simulac. Yeah, it's not for you. And you didn't cause any harm towards anybody. You didn't cause any harm towards yourself. You just went in there just to take a can of simulac just only because you couldn't afford it and your baby needed milk. You don't think you're going to jail? You probably not. If you have a clean record, you probably not. You probably gonna get a citation and summons to go to court to appear in court. But at the same time, I mean, they're still gonna do all that shit. They don't give a fuck whether your baby need milk or not, and if you can afford it, they're still gonna do what the fuck they gonna want to do. You get what I'm saying? Like the majority of them, bro, aren't gonna be feeling sympathetic. So just a lie. You know, a friendly reminder, bro. Police ain't your friend, bro. You can't trust them. What happened today? What did you do? Because at the end of the day, bro, we can't read minds. We can't. The only the only way we'll know is if they show it. We can't read minds. That's a lot of fucking pills, bro. I was thinking, man, it maybe might have been like one, two, three, maybe four pills. What did you take over there? 120. Some pills? Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know you're going to have to go to jail for this, okay? Okay. All right. Have a seat. The older gentleman brought the other guy over with him. That happens to be his uh, son-in-law. And his son-in-law son is the one that, that uh, dealt the pills to the, the undercover detective. Just found this in his vehicle. It's the receipt. So he just got all these scripts filled prior to coming up here. Damn. So he sold you an entire prescription? Yeah. He got um, a prescription of oxycodone, which he saw did the whole prescription made mention over the phone about the uh, Xanax, which is this here. It's got a full script of Xanax. Okay. And it's got another script here that we didn't even talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is what we've been working on with this pill task force, targeting these people that go and get their prescriptions, and then they go and they immediately sell them afterwards, and today it just happened that they sold to a... Uh, Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this. An undercover narcotics detective. Okay, why are you walking away from That's it, bro. Yeah. That's it. All right, so I'm going to upload the next one. I'm not going to be uploading to the old video. Just only because if it's 33 minutes long, this video is going to be like fucking like one hour. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, man. If you guys made it to this point of the video, I appreciate you, man. I thank y'all again, man. I can't never say that enough. Like, I'm going I'm to keep on just saying that, bro. From like 50 years from now, bro, if I'm still doing YouTube, bro, I'm going to still say that.